Hello out there. I like to, first of all, do a teaching on God is always there. This is a word that God has given me when I was going home from church. The word of God says, he will never leave you or forsake you. See, God would never leave you, nor he would never forsake you. He's always there for you. Why? Because he loves you. And he wants you to know this morning that He's just a prayer away. All you have to do is just say, Lord, I need you. And he will come to help you. See, God has good plans for your life. Jeremiah 29, 11 said, I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. The plan not to harm you will give you hope in the future. And we look at uh, John 3, 16. <coughs> it says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. See, so God is love. And, and there's a few more scriptures that talks about the God as being a good shepherd. It said, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. See, he's a good shepherd. And he's going to provide your every need. All you have to do is just, it's just, Ask him. Philippians 4.19 says, My God shall supply all your need according to his riches and glory. See, he's there for you. All you got to do is to say, Lord, I cast all my cares upon you. Because I know you care for me. So, my prayer for you this morning is that you would know God's goodness and how good He is. Remember, I said. Call. Here's the scripture. Jeremiah twenty, Jeremiah thirty three three. Call unto me, and I will answer you, said the Lord, and show you great and mighty things which you don't know of. You remember Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And 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 the Benigo. They were in a fiery furnace. They may be in a fiery furnace because of trials and things that you facing, things that you going through. But guess what? Jesus was the fourth man in the fire, and they didn't come out burnt at all. So you may be in that fiery furnace of affliction, a trial, whatever you're going through. Remember, he's there. So I just want to do a teaching this morning because 
I just want you to understand that he's there. And he's near to the broken hearted. And it binds up all their wounds. So whatever you're facing today. Maybe you're. Thinking about your child. Your teenager. Maybe you're. On the verge of no hope. No peace. No joy. Because of. Something that's happening in your life. I've heard your cry. I've seen your tears. I come to heal you. Remember that. He's the healer. He always make a way out of no way. Let me pray for you today. <coughs> Excuse me. Father, you know the situation of this person that's viewing this YouTube video. They may be going through a lot right now. Maybe loss, loss of a loved one. Or maybe financial, maybe emotional, maybe physical. But God, you're always there to listen and to to be walk alongside that person. Lord, I pray that you will show that person how much you love that person as we're in this video. Lord, you are so awesome and incredible because you have been there for me so many times. Lord, that the person's in a hotel room or the person at a bar viewing this video or that person wherever that person is thought tell them that there's hope that they don't need to be drinking and doing the things they're do they're doing let them come to you, Jesus, for hope and joy and peace. Lord, if that person is about to take his drink this morning or tonight or whatever, Lord, let them know that you are there. Lord, I pray that you will spare his life. Be there, Lord. Let him know that he don't have to drink. He don't have to sleep around. He don't have to do all that stuff because he wants peace. Let him go to a church that shows the love of God. Because it's the love of God that leads people to repentance. Oh, you know what church churches that these people need to go to they don't need to go to a church that don't show the love of Jesus they need to go to a church that shows the love of Jesus that shows that preaches who you are the right way if that person at a bar during this video let that person know that he don't have to drink You don't have to sit at the bar, sir. You don't have to sit at that bar. If you view this video at the sound of my voice, 
You don't have to sit at the bar. Go back home to your wife and your family. There's hope for you. And if that person in the hotel room, let that person know that he don't have to be in that hotel room. And he has a wife at home. So, Lord, I pray Remember, sir, Jesus said <coughs> that I come that you may have life and have it more abundantly. So thank you, Lord, for the opportunity for me to be able to minister to these people out here. In Jesus' name I pray, amen.